Hello everyone. Let's learn the chain rule. By the end of this section, the student should be able to determine the derivative of function of two variable with one independent parameter. And then the sh student should be able to determine the derivative of function of two variable with two independent parameter. And then the last one is the student should be able to solve the related rate application using the chain rule. We begin with a differentiable function of one variable. For example, y equal to fx. If x equal to gt in turn a function of single parameter t, then the function rule for function of one variable state that under composition y becomes a differentiable function of t with dy dt equal to dy dx multiply with the dx dt. Okay, in this case, we can simplify that. In y, you have the term of x and in x, you have the terms of t. So in order to find the dy dt, so it must go to x first and then the second one to the t. So the differentiable of dy with respect to dx multiply with the differentiable of x with, res with respect to t will give you the dy dt. Let's go to the example. If you have one function, for example, y equal to x power of 3, and then you have the x in term of t which is equal to 3t squared plus 1, so we can simplify it in term of the chain rule. For example, you have y, we have in term of x, and then the x in term of t. So it's the similar way you want to find the dy dt. So you need to find the dy dx first, and then you need to multiply with the dx dt. So in here, you need to find two terms. Okay, the dy, dx, and the dx dt. You can find it one by one. So you go for dy, dx first. So you got the 3x squared. And then for dx, dt, so you will get the 60 and plus z. So you put together the term that you already find. And then you will get 3x square and then you have the 60. Okay, you may simplify it, you will get 18x square and then you have t over here. Okay, since the equation requires you to find the derivative of y in term of t with respect to t, and then there should be no other parameter except t in your solution. So what you need to do is you need to replace the x term with the t terms. All right. Okay. So the x terms that you have is the 3t squared plus 1. And then do not forget to put the complete equation. All right. So this is the answer that you will get. To simplify it, you may expand this one first. Okay, so you will have 18, then you have a 9 over here, so you will have t power of 4 here, and then you will have 6 t square, and then you have 1, and then you have t over here. Okay, so this is the answer that you may get, or you also may expand this one to get the correct answer. Let's go to the chain rule for function of several variables with one independent parameter. For example, if you have a z function, and then that z function are in terms of x and y, and then in x, we have t 
and then in y we have t so that's what we call it the chain over several variable with one independent parameter all right okay let's go to the example if you have the z and that the, the z is a x squared plus 3y squared plus 7 and then you have x in term of t 2 cos t and then you have y is equal to sine t okay in order to find the dz over the t you must carefully check the z is in term of two parameter and x and y is in term of only single parameter so what you can write here is you need to find the del z over del x and then you will have the dx over dt you have the del z over del y and then you have dy over dt okay according to the uh, expression that you get over here so you need to find four terms all right okay so you may find it separately or independently okay let's go one by one del z over del x so you just need to differentiate that with respect to x so you will have 2x okay okay the second one you can find the dx over dt so you need to differentiate the x function with respect to t then you will get negative to sine t the third one is del z over del y so you need to differentiate z with respect to y so you will get the 6y and then the final one you need to find the dy dt so you need to differentiate y with respect to t so you will got cos t okay now you may combine it to find the dz dt all right okay so you will have 2x for dz del z del x and then you will have the negative 2 sine t for dx dt and then plus here you have 6y for del z del y and then you will have cos t for dy dt okay so you may simplify over here or you may substitute the parameter x and y in term of t okay so let me simplify first so you will have here negative 4 x sine t and then you will have the 6y cos t now i just replace the x with the one that we already declare which is 2 cos t and then this one is remain plus with 6y the y is sine t and then we have the cos t over here okay the final simplification is negative 8 cos t sine t and then we have the plus over here 6 cos t sine t okay since the term is the same terms so you may get more simplest answer which is 2 cos t sine t and then we have negative here okay so you may use the what we call it as a identity to simplify this one which is 2 cos t sine t is equal to sine 2t so this is the final answer Hello everyone. 
let's solve the chain rule with three variable and one independent variable. All right. Okay. So let's say you want to find the dw over dt, and then you are given the w in term of x y z, which is the x z plus x y plus y z, and then your x y and z are in term of t. For example, you have the x in term of t and then here exponent negative t for y and then you have exponent t minus exponent negative t for z. Alright, okay, so in order to solve this one, you need to create the chain of the equation first. Okay, so you need to start with W and then you know that the W have X, we have Y and also Z. And each of the X, Y, Z here having T. Okay, if you want to find DW over DT, okay, so you need to remember that the W having three variable. So you need to use DEL. Del W over del X multiply with the DX over DT and then you have need to plus with del W over del Y and then you have the DY over DT and then finally you have del W over del Z and then multiply with the DZ over DT. So you have a uh, three element need to find one, two, three, four. Five, six. So, we go for the uh, del W over del X first. Okay, look at here. You just go to the uh, function of W and then you differentiate with respect to X. So, you will get Z plus Y. Okay, so the second element DX over DT is you will get exponent T. Okay, the third element del w over del y so you will get the x plus with z and then the dy over dt will give you negative exponent negative t and then the last two del w over del z what you will get is x plus with y and then the last term is dz over dt will give to you exponent t plus exponent negative t okay so you combine it together okay all right class so you have dw over dt which is del w over del x dx over dt plus del w over del y dy over dt you have del w over del z multiply dz over dt okay please uh, insert all the terms carefully over here so what you will get here is z plus y and then you will get exponent t over here plus with uh, x plus z negative exponent negative t plus x plus y and then you will have here is exponent t plus exponent negative t so this is the challenge that you need to face you need to substitute x y and z in terms of t so what you will get here is exponent t minus exponent negative t plus exponent negative t exponent t over here plus exponent t plus exponent t minus exponent negative t and then here you will have negative exponent negative t okay so plus 
you will have exponent t plus with the exponent negative t and then the last term is exponent t plus exponent negative t okay so here please be careful okay so here you will demolish for that you will get exponent to t and then here you will have uh, exponent t okay you have two exponent t multiply with this one so what you will get here is uh, minus 2 and then here you will have uh, plus exponent negative to t and then here you will have exponent to t and then you will have also here is plus 1 plus 1 plus uh, exponent negative to t okay this one is demolish and then you can combine this one and this one this one and this one so you will get 2 exponent to t plus with 2 exponent negative to t so this is the answer thank you for watching see you in the next video